Hello friends, welcome to the class on computer aided engineering. In this video, we are going to solve another problem on isometric projection. So here the problem is been given like this: the frustum of a square pyramid of 40 mm and height 60 mm uh, rest on the center of the top of a square block of 60 mm and height 20 mm. Draw the base edges of the pyramid are parallel to the top edges of the square block draw the isometric projection the combination of the solids so this is the data which has been given that for that we have written the front view and top view so in this question one of the data is missing that is the frustum of a square pyramid the bottom face is how much 40 mm whereas the top face is 20 mm okay see this is a front view of the combination of the of the solids and this is a top view of the combination of the solids here they are telling that the frustum of a square the base edges of the frustum of the pyramid is parallel to the base of the object which is the base that is a um, square block okay so these two edges are parallel so this is the front view and top view of the combination and this is the isometric view so our intention is to draw this isometric view on on the in the software using the solid version 18 so let us draw it so we have a square block at the box at the base right square block square block of 60 mm and height is 20 mm so let us draw this so take a line command so it must be of continuous line so thickness must be 0 0.13 starting point of the line so what is the length of the base that is 60 mm 60 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be 30 degree enter next once again the length is it is a square block right so 60 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be 150 degree enter now once again the length is 60 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be minus 150 degree after this i am going to join this like this okay so just i am going to zoom this now what i need to locate the center so midpoint of one edge opposite midpoint of the another edge so in the same way i'm going to draw a line from midpoint of one edge to the opposite midpoint of the another edge okay now so this is a square of 60 in isometric projection now what is the height of this so the height is 20 mm right so from the center of this i am going to draw a line which measures how much 20 into 0 0.816 that is a conversion factor okay angle will be 90 enter okay now i am going to use a move command click on the element to modify so this is the element to modify so here the axis also selected just press the control button and unselect this axis okay sorry that is not possible first you select the element before selecting the move command now press the control button and press the axis so that will be unselected now you select the move command click for the point to move from i need to hold this element from the center and then i am going to fix it to the top of the axis so this must be on condition move copy command should be on okay just place it so the rectangular block is ready only thing is we need to draw the vertical edges from the corresponding corner okay vertical edges and that must be of continuous line continuous line like this i am going to draw okay see the square block is ready above this square block we need to place a frustum of a square so what is the base of the frustum 
so the base of the first term is 40 okay so let me draw the square of 40 in isometric how to do it so from the uh, point right so it is 40 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be 30 degree enter once again 40 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be 150 degree enter once again the length will be 40 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be minus 150 degree enter and once again come to the end okay after this we have to locate the center from the midpoint of one of the edge to the opposite midpoint of the another edge in the same way midpoint of the one edge to the opposite midpoint like this okay so now what is the height of the first term so take a line command axis line you select from the center see the height of the first term is 60 okay i am going to draw axis line of how much 60 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be 90 degree enter okay so now i have a base of the first term so the top what I have it is a, a square of 20 so what I am going to do I am going to draw another square in isometric of which measures 20 20 into uh, 0 0.816 enter angle will be 30 degree enter okay next one uh, 20 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be 150 degree enter next it will be same as 20 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be minus 150 degree enter and finally i am going to join this just i am going to zoom this okay so all this must be a continuous line okay now take a line command to locate the center draw the line from the midpoint or from one of the edge to the opposite midpoint midpoint the same way midpoint of one edge opposite midpoint like this okay so now the square is ready of 40 and also 20 now i am going to select this object move command so this must be an off condition from the center i'm going to pick it up and i'm going to place it on the center of a first term okay like this is it okay now i'm going to draw the corresponding edges corresponding slant edges like this so thickness must be zero sorry so it must be of continuous line okay see the square uh, block is ready and the first term is ready the only thing is we have to use a move command click the move command select this object from the center i am going to hold it and i am going to place it on the center of this square block okay so this is how we are going to get the object so after drawing the isometric projection now it is the time to uh, make a visible and invisible edges only visible edges okay I am just going to zoom this area. As I told, we have to come from the top to bottom. See, so this top face will be visible. You select this top face. Select the top face. And make this one dark. Of thickness how much? 0.5. Next, this vertical slant edges. 
sorry slant edges are visible so that must be dark of 0.5 now this base of the frustum of a pyramid that this one and this edge two edges are visible so that must be dark 0.5 so in the previous video i have shown you how to use the split command so the same thing i am going to use here so take a split command which element i need to split so this is a line i need to split so where i need to split where this slant edge intersect with this top face of the square block so i need to cut that line so here also i need to do the same thing here i need to do the split the line okay after splitting so this must be dark this because it is visible this one is visible this one is visible and this one is visible so this is the top face of the square block are visible next corresponding vertical edges so three vertical edges are visible this one this one and this one so these three vertical edges are visible so that must be dark next bottom face this one and this one two bottom face edges are visible so this must be dark point five okay so this is how we are going to draw the isometric projections of a combination of solid in this problem at the bottom we have a square block above that square block you have frustum of square pyramid so it is placed in such a way that the base edges of a frustum of pyramid is parallel to the top face edges of a square block okay i hope you understood thank you namaste